Today I'm going to show you how to make this gluten-free gingerbread house here on Jen's Creativity Corner. The actual gingerbread supplies is a very simple recipe. I've done it before. It's these sesame crisps and I saw the potential that it had. So I'll link up to that recipe down below. It's actually the same thing omitting the sesame seeds and adding some basic holiday spices, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and cloves. Just sprinkle some in the mix. And then I'll, you're gonna take it and spread it thin. I made sure to spray down that so it wouldn't stick and bake it according to directions. While still hot, go ahead and make your creases for cutting lines because it will be nice and crisp once it's fully cooled down, but at this point, you can still make those lines without cracking it. This would have been much easier and more uniform if I had used some sort of pattern with parchment paper, but it worked well enough for my first time trying this out. And then obviously for your cement, for your glue, you're gonna need some royal icing. I have my recipe down in the description below. And just go ahead and assemble it. You want to make sure your royal icing is pretty thick and make sure the base is nice and dry before you go adding the heavy roof on top. Since I didn't really have a pattern, I went ahead and just kind of cut out my own pieces to make the roof complete. And then I just sealed it up and filled up any cracks. For decorations, I went online and I did a search to find out what kind of candies I could get to decorate with that were gluten-free. Mike and Ike's are one that are gluten-free. And also the Tootsie brand. So I got these little fruit chews. To make a tree, you're just gonna take it, warm it up in your hands and use it kind of like a Play-Doh or a clay and I'm making four little discs that are obviously different sizes and just cutting around them to make the branches and then stacking them. The top one you are going to want to make a little pointed and just assemble it. I thought it turned out really cute. Let me know what you think. I went ahead and just did the frosting for the door and then attached my little decorative lights. Gave the place some shingles. And then I cut one of the green Mike and Ike's in half to make the leaves. And these are actually Jelly Bellies that I cut the tips off. You could do it with a Mike and Ike's too. But Jelly Belly is a brand that is also gluten free to make a little holly. I took one of the lemon flavored Tootsie fruit chews and just kind of smooshed it up, cut it into a rectangle. And then that way you have windows that looks like it has that glow from lights being on from the inside. And then I just did a little bit of decorative snow at the base. Added my tree. And also with the vanilla flavor chews, I made a little snowman. To finish it off, I just did a little powdered sugar, sifted on top, give it that fresh snow look. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously it is not perfect. This is my first time. Um, but I thought it was a creative use of that recipe, making it gluten-free, so you can feel free to eat it all up. 
If you're interested in more gluten-free recipes, I've got a link down to a playlist of things that I've made so far. And I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you for joining me here, and we'll see you next time with a brand new video.